My name is Amy Elliott, and I'm a graduate student in mechanical engineering. It's kind of funny, but women usually bulldoze the men in engineering. No, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. This is going to fly off and hit you in the face. Do not turn this on. I guess the women who get into engineering are those super high achievers. I hope that I can be a role model for, you know, those teenage girls out there that aren't sure what they want to do. I hope that I can show them that engineering has a lot to offer them, and it's really fun. My name is Tom Johnson. I'm the owner of Johnson Machining Services. I'm significantly older than the next oldest competitor. That's how you take it apart. This is how you put it together. Give me that. And while that might be a disadvantage in some ways, they don't have the wealth of experience that I have. Everything I've ever been associated with, I had to be the best, and I intend to be the best. My name is Guy Cavalcanti, and I love building giant robots. I know how to do a little bit of everything, and I'm really good at some things. I am a golden all guy! The way, all the way over. <laughs> I'm really confident in my skill set, so I run a giant shop that has all of these types of design and fabrication in it. I've been exposed to it all, I have to do it all to make these robots, so I'm, I, I can do it, whatever you can throw at me. I'm Eric Whitman, and I'm a PhD student at Carnegie Mellon University's Robotics Institute. I specialize in robotics, and I work with a humanoid robot. Oh, oh. smoke, 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 smoke. That's uh -oh. apparently not what we were supposed to do. <laughs> So I came in at a good time, huh? <laughs> so I expect that competing on this show will be a very harsh competitive environment. And it'll be, it'll be really interesting to pit myself against some of the other top minds out there and see kind of where I fit in. I came here to compete and hope to make it all the way to the end. My name is Andrew Stroop, and I am a engineer. I work for the Department of Defense, um, but I can't tell you what I do. Not only do I have the technical expertise, but I have that drive that will push me to be the best engineer possible and beat out the competition. I'm absolutely going to win this competition. My name is Allison Wong, and I'm a product designer and design consultant. I mean, as a product designer, you're always looking for creative solutions. You're always prototyping new ways to, to solve a problem. And I really think that will really stand out and bring me to the end. My name is Corey Fleischer. I'm a mechanical engineer for Lockheed Martin. So to me, winning this competition is just the ultimate championship. It's bigger than the MVP in baseball. There's never been you know, a top engineer, so it's just higher than any other accomplishment that I could be in the running for. My name is Dan Moyers, and I'm a spacecraft systems engineer, um, but I can't say where I work. It's kind of top secret. Fire! <laughs> I'm probably not your typical engineer. I'm not scared of going out there and just kicking ass. You know, I'm gonna go out there and throw caution to the wind and just be as aggressive as I can and do whatever I need to within the rules to win this competition. My name is Joe Carvella and I'm an aerospace engineer. My specializations are in aerodynamics and propulsion. And if we don't get one installed, we have zero spring force. I am gonna have one spring on our design. Whether I'm leading the team or participating in the team, I expect everyone to work as hard as I do and come up with as good results. So it can be disappointing um, if someone doesn't pull their weight. My name is Joel Eiffel. I'm a welding engineer. I work on nuclear reactors for the U.S. Navy. Some of the first things I ever built or designed were uh, custom art pieces. From there, I went into custom computer case building, which is like the, the coolest hobby you can have. I mean, ladies love that. What sets me apart, I think I have that perfect combination of both hands-on practical experience and book smarts and uh, it's all wrapped up in a nice, pretty exterior.